Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into the makeup stash and shopping to see what I have not used recently and what items I've been overlooking to see what I'm falling back in love with, what needs to go, and what needs to go with me on my trip. So you guys, before we jump into it, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications to new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. But if you wanna see what items I picked out and how I got this look, and of course, an update on everything that is going on in my life, just keep watching. Okay, shop my stash. I always start <laughs> with my primers. There's quite a few good ones in here. The Olivia Palermo I used the other day and then I paired with my Tarte Timeless because I still need it to smooth. That one's more of like a glowy hydrating and for the summer, it's just not it. One size, secure the blur, so good. Um, almost done with the Laura Geller. I've been using this for work so I can kind of use it up before I leave. The Stila, so good. Let's see, oh. I know I need to declutter that one. LYS, love that one. Tarte Poreless. I just repurchased this. I love a good mattifying primer, especially if I'm going to use something super hydrating. Let's see. KVD, no. Hourglass Vanish, really like that one. Watermelon Burst. Well, I don't think I've used this one in a while. The Liquefied Poreless Putty Primer from e.l.f. Let's use this one. Foundations and Concealers. I used the Say today. This one's so good. I used it yesterday as well. Been loving the Maybelline Super Stay. It is a little bit dark, so as long as I use a self tanner, I can use that, and it looks so good, um, especially in the heat. Let's see, I haven't used this in a while. I think I need to use the lighter shade. Should probably test that out before I leave. All hours, so good. Kosas, I like for my like no makeup days if I don't have anything going on. Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydrating. I like this one and the original formula. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish, so good. The Urban Decay. There's so many good ones, you guys. The CC Hydrating. Do I want Drugstore or High End? The Double Wears. What have I not used? I haven't used RMS recently. Let me use this one, it's a natural finish. And then for concealers, we have Tarte and Too Faced. Oh, I've been using the YSL Too Shaped Hot uh, High Cover. So good. Actually, maybe we should use this on camera. Let's show you guys how good it really is. And it's not a super thick one. Let's do that. Okay, setting powders. I haven't used my Givenchy in a while. I have been, I used my Tarte today, so good. I used the Makeup Forever, a setting the other day. One size is so good. Urban Decay, not my favorite, but I like it. Laura Mercier, either one, the regular or the ultra blur, so freaking good. I think I wanna use the Givenchy, so, so good. I'm trying to narrow down everything that I take with me. Okay, bronzer and contour. I used this one today with the makeup by Mario. I'm still not a huge fan of it. It just kind of disappears. Like maybe if it's a no makeup day and I just want a little bit of color and it, it breaks down so weird. Like, do you guys see that? It's not my favorite, but it's there. Use this one today for contour from NYX. The Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I kind of want to use one of, let's see, do I want to do cream or powder? What have I not used lately? I think for contour, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. Okay, someone's ticked off Dixon. And then I think for bronzer, I might stick with Mm, I don't know. I haven't used Say in a while. The Huda Beauty is really good. Oh, I haven't used my e.l.f. putty bronzer. Let's use that one. On to blushes, and you guys, I also have my Huda Beauty up here because they don't fit in the drawer. This drawer is max capacity, and part of me is like, oh, I need to declutter, but then also I'm like, oh, I just decluttered. So I don't know if I should be getting rid of anything. Um, I don't think I've used Say on camera with you guys. It is such a beautiful shade. I don't know what eyeshadow palette I'm using, so it's kind of hard. Do I, do I use this one and then use... Oh, I don't think I used this Buttermelt blush. I used the lighter one last time. This one right there. I think I'm going to do this. Use your, I've been doing the powder on top of my cream that you guys have been suggesting. So high end and drugstore today. Okay, you guys, and now we're on to highlighter. I just used this one from Rare Beauty, which is gel like formula, so beautiful on the skin and on top of powder, like no problems there. I do like this Dior, but I've only used it like once or twice since I purchased it. But then it's like, okay, do I want a power powder? Do I want a super shock? Do I want cream? There's so many good ones. 
it's such a hard choice. Let's see. LYS is a good one. And I just picked up the LYS stick highlighter. So good. So beautiful. Which one is that iconic? You know what? I don't think I've used a powder. Well, I haven't used one of my Ofra ones at all. Let's see which one is this. Ooh, cookies and cream. Or no, milk and cookies. I love this one. Okay, you guys, now we are on to eyeshadow palettes. And don't mind down here. These are the ones that I just recently reviewed or used when I went on travel to New York. So I don't know if I wanna use any of those since they've been recently used, but we have some really good ones. Ooh, here's all my ABH ones. I really wanna try Subculture, but I'm also like, does anyone even wanna see that? By the time you guys see this, I'll probably be in Germany. So let me know if you wanna see it when I get back from Germany, cause I don't think I'm taking that palette with me. What do I want to use? There's so many good ones. Do I want colorful or do I want neutral? Ooh, there's so many. Part of me wants neutral. Although, let's see. Ooh, that'd be fun. I don't think I've used this in a while. Or I do like a good Pat McGrath. Oh, I know I've used this one recently. Let's do this one. Okay, you guys. So I have a bunch of items that I shopped through my stash for. I don't know how many more I'm going to get to do. I have about a week before I leave for Germany. Um, by the time you see this, I will probably be over there. I am kicking this off with my P. Louise base. It's just one of those things that I don't shop my stash for because I just, I prefer this eyeshadow primer. I have a couple other ones, but this one actually has color pigment to it. So it blocks out my veins. And then the other thing is like, as much as I love doing shop my stash videos, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do them when I'm over in Germany. Yes, I'm going to acquire things, but I don't know. I mean, I'm going to obviously take some of my makeup with me. I don't know exactly what. I have been trying to utilize a lot of makeup that I have in my collection and narrow it down as to what I want to take with me. Also taking into consideration some of the items that I have had a little bit longer, like cream products for sure. Those probably need to go with me so they can be used more frequently. All right, so I picked out the Pat McGrath Labs Bijou Brilliance Eyeshadow Palette in Lunar Nightshade. Oh, that was so close. I almost like jammed my finger into the entire shade. So I'm gonna go into this shade, which is literally the only matte. I'm gonna use my fluffy crease brush to just kind of get a frame for it and then use my compacted smudge brush to deepen it up in areas. But I don't know if I'm gonna keep it light or dark. There is a darker shade in here, but it is all the glitter. Like every single glitter particle you could jam into this darker shade, it's in there. So we're at least gonna start with the purpley shade which is Midnight Iris. And it's like a cream to powder formula. At least that's what it looks like. Oh, well, I might have gone in way too heavy handed with that shade because it is intense. All right, so I just used my color switch to clean it off. And this is for sure going with me. I have two of them. I had like five of them and I gave a bunch of them away to friends. They're like, what do I need that for? I was like, okay, if you're like me and you do not wash your, sh uh, brushes as frequently like that's what that's for and I know one of you guys had asked me to talk through like the brushes that I use I need to do that probably this weekend actually I can talk about what I have going on this weekend because um by the time this is posted everything will be in the past so with the preparations for travel I am trying to pre-record some things so and I kind of wanted to talk about that today just kind of um explain what's going to happen because I think my channel is going to gravitate away from as many makeup tutorials because when I first get to where I'm going, I'm not going to have a single room. I'm going to start out with a roommate and I don't. So when I say roommate, it doesn't mean like my room and their room. It's we're in the same room. There's two beds in there. We each have our closets. We each have a desk. So we share the room. Um, I don't feel comfortable setting up like everything that I have. Like obviously my setup's gonna change. I don't think I'm taking everything with me. I have some vlog cameras that are probably gonna come with me more than like my my monitor. I, I'm probably gonna have to modify some things. Oh no, this is not a woe is me. Like I'm excited to be going to Germany. I'm just switching over to my compacted smudge brush, which has purple on it from yesterday. But we're gonna deepen up this outer corner. And I knew I was gonna have to 
like change my channel a little bit. My other thing is I don't know their schedule compared to my schedule. If they work longer hours or are on an offset, I might be able to film a tutorial. The other thing is where I do a lot of like chatty makeup or whatever, I might just do like put my headphones in, do my makeup and then do voiceovers later. That's a big possibility. But I want you guys to be aware that like things on my channel are not gonna be like they are right now. I still want you guys to have like questions and ask me about things and let me know what you want to see, especially if I do travel. I think I'm gonna have at least like one or two days on the weekend to kind of explore. I don't know if that means explore another country or just explore like close to the base that I'm at. But let me know what you guys want to see and I will try my best to like explore the, some of those things. I also know that I have a lot of people that are in Europe um, that watch my channel and I really appreciate those comments from you guys because it kind of lets me know, especially because the analytics on YouTube, it tells me where people are from or at least where their IPs are registered. So it's nice because I have a global reach and I get to talk to you guys and I appreciate all the support. I really do. But I'm also nervous. When I was in my 20s, it was like, yes, let's go. But also when I was going overseas, they were packing up all of my belongings. They were going with me and the longest underway or the longest I'd be away from home was two or three months. I've never done what we consider like an IA, an individual augment. And this one is going to be for eight months. I also didn't know I'd be planning a wedding. I know Luke and I had talked about getting married and like the possibility, but I didn't know that it was going to happen before I left. I didn't know that I would be planning a wedding around my augment, his deployment, and then we're looking at 2026. Really far out. All right. I think I, do I want to use, I like this purple. I kind of want to use the lighter of the shades in here. All right. I'm going to use this shade, which is Neptunian Orchid. I'm going to pick this one up on my middle finger and place it in the center. I want to use the deeper shade, but I'm also kind of like, actually, I take that back. We're going to use the shade Noir Nebula. This one I'm going to pick up on my pointer finger because I already have this shade on my middle finger. I'm going to use all of them every single shade. Because that's the other thing is I am trying to figure out what makeup needs to go with me. So we're going to place that right there on the outer edge where it blends mostly into the purple. And then we're going to take this shade and right here, feed it in. So we kind of get an ombre, but we're going to get that darker green. We're going to take the lighter. Ooh. Now, gonna take the shade Pale Amethyst. This one I'm gonna pick up on my ring finger because I have to run errands today and drop off the giveaway box in the mail. I'm so excited for the winner. They have been notified, they know it's on the way. I was gonna send it out yesterday but then there was torrential downpour and I was like, I don't want the box to get wet and then the possibility of like the address getting removed and it not making it to the person. Okay, it is way different than <laughs> I usually do but I feel like I have a good blend here. I do want to pick up my dry brush, take the lightest shade, Pale Amethyst, and just here in the inner corner. Not what I was planning on doing, but I did and I, I like it. I am going to take this over a little bit into the crease. This was the winter release for Pat McGrath. So let me go do this eye. And I'll be back because I have a bunch of other products to use. <laughs> okay, you guys, the eyes are as done as they can be for right now. And it looks crazy, but I know once I get my base products down, it's all going to come together. So the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. Make sure to shake it. Once it's like sitting in the drawer, it like kind of just sometimes formulas can break down. I don't know if this one did, but just in case, I always like to make sure that everything's like cohesive. But today, one, the weather is much nicer today than it was yesterday. The last two days, it has been torrential downpour after work. And I was like, oh, that's really what I need to get stuff done. So like yesterday, Luke and I just kind of hung out and he made dinner. He's not a fan of making dinner after work because he usually works a little bit later than I do, being that I'm on shore duty. <laughs> but I was like, 
can you? And so he did, which was nice because I don't even think I was doing anything important, but it's just sometimes nice to have him cook instead of me doing it. All right, so for foundation, I picked out the RMS Beauty Re-Evolve Natural Finish Foundation. I have mine in shade 33.5. So this is one of those that it twists up and then I also like that it's refillable. It does have the air pump so it's going to push the formula up and I can see where like there's some air in there. So this will push up and eventually like this is one of those that let's see. So once open 12 months. The good thing is this is never exposed to air except for this little disc being pushed up. So it's like okay do I still take it with me or do I just leave it here and hope it'll be fine when I get home. I think I'm gonna end up taking a lot of my foundations with me. Let's, why is it doing that? Okay, well, the pump is being weird. I don't usually have an issue with this one. It is a good shade match for like, I haven't tanned, I haven't done self tanner. I did pick one up cause I wanna try it out this weekend and see before I go to uh, Germany and make sure, cause I don't plan on tanning while I'm there. I'm probably going to work quite a bit, but I also don't want to have to repurchase all my foundations for lighter shades. So for me, it makes more sense to buy a self tanner and make sure I have shades for like in between and when I'm self tanned. So this won't, this actually popped up yesterday, two days ago. I had gotten some mail and I was on the counter and Luke is like, can I ask you a question? And I wasn't trying to be nosy and I was like, okay, sure. He's like, well, there was paperwork on the counter. I was like, are you talking about the Illinois tax? And he was like, yeah, why is it so much? And I was like, well, first off, so if you don't know this, I need, think I need, like I put way too much on this side. I'm gonna use my um, sponge here in a little bit to like mop it up. But so if you don't know this, if you are active duty, whatever state of residency you are when you join the military is usually your residency while you're in. You can change it, um, like technically because I live in Virginia, if I wanted to change my residency because I own a house here, I could, but I grew up in Florida. I recruited out of Florida. I've just maintained my Florida residency. Um, my license is still there. My, my car is registered there. My family is still there. So for me, those things just make sense to stay the same. But when I was stationed in Chicago for five years, when I filed my taxes, they obviously had my Illinois address on it. Well, here it is 2024 and I got a notice in the mail for they're trying to collect taxes from 2017. First off, it took you seven years, seven years, because when I filed my taxes with my ex-husband, we filed jointly. So it was addressed to him and I at our address or at my address now. Um, but because, and actually I'm not sure why they sent it to me, maybe because I did the filing. Um, the Navy back in the day, short story, had, while well, I was injured, had given me training on how to prepare taxes for free for military members. So I now prepare my taxes. It's not easy. Make sure you know the ins and outs, the rules, read the changes. Don't just think that you're gonna file and get a whole bunch of money back. Sometimes you owe. But know the changes before you go and file and you can't just file willy nilly. But anyways, so I did the filing. I assume that's why the taxes came to my house and not to him. I do still communicate with him. I did let him know like, hey, by the way, I've submitted this. So I called them and I'm like, look, this, that, and the other. All right, so I'm gonna get excess off of my face because there is a lot, but a damp sponge will help kind of disperse it out and move what you don't need. And the lady was very nice. She was just like, oh, if you were active duty, this is just what we need. We need your W-2 from that year or your LES. So LES is your leave and earning statement. It's literally your page pay stub to tell you like how your pay is broken down and then how many days of leave and vacation time that you have. I was like, okay, cool. I log in. Our pay system only goes back five years. So I had to put a request in, ask for those time frames. Well, since we put the request in, we asked for 16 to 21, which is the time frame that I was in Illinois. But Luke is like, why do you have a tax bill for $5,000? Well, because the taxes were originally $800. 
but because they waited seven years to tell me I owed it, the interest, the fees, the filings accumulated to $5,400. All right, so we are using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. It is one of my favorites. This is literally a repurchase. I just opened this one. It is nice and fresh. I love this. It makes it so easy. This will absolutely be going with me. <laughs> I was like, you know, like, when they do audit things, they're gonna put fees because someone had to get paid and someone had to do all of it. But for military members, if you can contact your admin, they will get you the documentation. I literally, like we put the file in yesterday requesting my leave and earn earning statements for the last, for those five years. And today I had them. What's crazy is when I called them and asked them for those documents, they're like, oh, we don't keep them on the server. They keep them on microfilm, but they were really quick and were able to get me the documents I needed. So I submitted those today. I'm just waiting to hear. But for those that don't know, or like maybe you have family in the military and they're going through something similar, that's how you do it. If you are still a state resident and you have proof that shows that you paid whether your state has taxes there or not, if it shows that you are still a state resident of a different state, usually they'll allow you to not pay those taxes. But my leave and earning statement says Florida on it. So that should be helpful. And when I contacted my ex, he's like, oh yeah, I got something not too long ago for 2019. That's when he and I got divorced. So we filed separately, but he had submitted my orders, the spouse act, like all the information and documents that he had because spouses are protected under military members, locations and stuff. I'm gonna go into my e.l.f. putty bronzer. I have it in the shade tan lines. Have not used this in forever. Oh, it's still, still creamy. It is a very small thing. So like my, <laughs> my bronzer brush does not fit in there. I really hope this is still good, but also I'm like using these products cause it's like, okay, when I do declutter, like I want to remember mentally, like what I need to get rid of. Like this, I think might be dried up. Let's try one more time. It's not working. All right, so I love this putty bronzer. It's so good. I probably need a deeper shade anyways, but it is gonna get decluttered. Oh no. I'm gonna stick on brand with Charlotte Tilbury and go into the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer, which is so good. It's also massive. This is, I think, shade medium. Yes, medium. Not that any of you guys needed to know about the taxes, but like maybe you've got friends who are military or maybe you're younger and you plan on joining. Just know like the things that are available to you. I didn't know any of those things until the Navy was like, hey, let's teach you how to do this. Cause I wasn't doing my normal job and they wanted to make me still like beneficial and useful to the Navy, so. But it's worked out for me because I now can do my own taxes each year. I've helped some friends. But when I first saw the notice, I was like, oh, I don't need anything else on my plate. There's so much going on right now. Let's see. I know I have my concealer and cream blush. So for concealer, we have the YSL Touche Clots High Cover Radiant Concealer. I think mine is shade three. I have been using this the past couple days and the only reason I'm like, oh, let me shop my stash on this one. It's so good. And I don't remember if people have been like talking about it recently, but I forgot I had it. And it's so yummy on the skin. And because it's so creamy, like I'm okay using that much. And this is the only one that I go like super ham on because it's not like, it's not a super thick concealer. It's nice and creamy. It's so good. This will be going with me. Ooh. Have a little more. There was one time when I first got this, it like I clicked it, and nothing came, and I tried again, and I'm like, why? I just bought this, and I thought it was gone, and I didn't throw it away. I went to go grab it one more time, and I'm like, I got some to come out, and I was like, oh, it must have had air. It just needed me to like push it through. But I wish there was like a window on here that would show you, so you could see how much was available. It is so beautiful under the eye. It is a little warm upstairs today. Like I keep sweating right there and I'm like, oh, why? All right, so the Say Beauty Do Blush in Dreamy. This shade is so stunning. It's so creamy. We're gonna start there. I wanted to go in again and I was like, don't do that. It's such a dark shade and so beautiful. Like you can build it. Don't go in too much. Just let it build slowly. So gorgeous. I love that. I think it goes very well with this purpley shade. I need to build up a little bit over here, just a smidge. We'll start out with two since I know that's what I needed to use last time. 
Luke has been a sweetheart. He keeps saying, he's like, I'm gonna starve when you're gone. You make such good food. And I'm like, no, you're gonna lose weight when I'm gone because you're not gonna eat all the carb heavy things that I make. Cause he was keto before I met him, but I don't, I don't like diet or anything like that. I work out so I can enjoy the food that I like. So when we first started dating, he would stick with keto for the most part and he was doing really good. But then I would make Alfredo and I do modify it. So I'll make Alfredo, but for him, I would take the pasta out and just do a double batch of chicken. Well, chicken and Alfredo sauce. And he really likes that. But then he'd see me eating pasta and he's like, oh, I want some pasta. And I'm like, you don't have to do that. And I have modified some things like if we do burgers, I'll get the keto buns. Or um, when I do, I'll make the big back smash burgers. I'll get the keto tortillas and put those on there. So I've modified some of those things, but I also know that he, like I'll keep pita chips in the house and he will go and eat the pita chips. And I'm like, babe, did you eat them? And he was like, I only had a couple. I was like, you ate the whole bag. He was like, they were so good though. So we're gonna clean out the cabinets. He's gonna start from scratch. And when I come back, we're just gonna kind of reassess the snack and like the food that we bring in the house. Cause I don't want him to feel like he can't eat or enjoy things, but I also like want him to feel comfortable. And he worked really hard to get to the weight that he was at. He's not overweight now. I don't like, he's not, and he's very handsome. All right, so I'm going into the Givenchy. There's this, the Prisma Libre Matte Finish and Enhanced Radiance Powder. And I'm gonna have to touch up this area cause like, what the heck? But we've been joking about the fact he's like, I'm gonna start, but I was like, no, you're gonna probably go back to keto more than anything and be able to keep that stuff off. And I will work harder to kind of modify so that he doesn't feel uncomfortable. Yep, see, I knew that was gonna take it off when I did that. It's just gonna look crazy. I just want it to absorb the oil and like, it's already doing it. It's like freaking, anyone else get that? Like, it's really annoying. I got the lines under the eye. You know what powder I really want to try out? And I love the rest of their products. LYS just released translucent setting powder. By the time you guys see this, it will have been out for like a month or so, but I really want to pick it up and try it out. It looks beautiful. Just nice and mattified. I love this setting. Can you guess if it's going with me or not? And that's the thing. I'm like, oh, do I need to take all of them with me? I need to take more of the cream products than I do the powder products. But there's so many good like setting powders that I have in my collection. I will say for as much as I like the RMS foundation, I don't know if I'm taking it. I like their primer, but for some reason it always seems to fall into these lines. I'm not a fan of that. I love the rest of their products, but I just don't know if the foundation is like made for my skin. And that's the thing. You can love an entire makeup line and one product just isn't, it just isn't it. And for me, I just don't think my skin likes this foundation. It loves this powder though. But it's, it's funny cause Luke is like, what am I gonna do for eight months? I'm like, you're the one who told me to go. And he's like, I know, cause I think you'll have fun in Germany and it's gonna be a good adventure and a good opportunity for work, which he knows I wanna retire from the military, but I'll be doing something different than I do every day right now. So it will diversify my portfolio or my resume when I retire. But now he's like, I regret telling you to go. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And he was like, no, I'm still glad that you're going, but I regret telling you you could go. And I'm like, well, that's not fair. Oh, shoot. But he is gonna try and come visit me while I'm out there. All right, let's finish off the under eye. We'll do some more blush and then the highlighter. All right. So I'm gonna grab this purple hue, which is Midnight Iris. Put that the entire length under the eye. Mm, I like that. I think this needs to be deepened up a little bit more though. And of course the outer edge always needs to be zhuzhed up a little bit. I do have some friends that are like, oh, we wanna come and visit. And I was like, you do know this is for work, right? I don't know that I'm gonna get a whole lot of time off. And they're like, well, we can go and explore during the day and then you can meet up with us. And I'm like, that's true. I can do that, which I have done in the past. All right, so we are done with this one. Oh wait, shoot. I might, no, I'm gonna use the highlighter. All right, so before I do that, I am gonna use the NYX Buttermelt Blush. This is in the shade Butter With Time. It's supposed to be a vivid watermelon. Like this is nice and subdued and I really like that. But if you want it to pop, you put some powder on top. Okay, so with the powder, without. So nice and subdued and intense for after work. <laughs> 
really like that. I've been doing all these last minute things getting ready for this trip. All right, now we are on to the Ofra and Steph Tom's collab. This is the highlighter in Milk and Cookies. I can't smell, but this smells delicious, or it used to. Um, so this one is lighter, a little bit darker. I like to mix them. So like the inner corner, I'm gonna use this side, and then when I do my highlighter on my cheeks, I mix them together. Remember, setting spray is gonna help everything just kind of melt into place. I'm really liking my makeup, but I'm not liking my foundation right now with that. I will try the foundation again with my Tarte Timeless Smoothing. It could also be the Putty Primer, which I do like. I just don't use it as frequently, and I don't like what's going on like right here. So, all right, for brows, I have so many options, and I've just been trying to go through the ones that I already have open. So. Let's see. All right, I have Melt Perfectionist, Patrick Ta, which is so good. Just did a full face with that. LYS Secure the Brow, or Secure Brow. Just did a full face of LYS. Charlotte Tilbury, I use this every single day. It is so easy, it just flicks through and good to go. Alamar, the Mommy Brow, Mammy, Mommy. I love this one. And then Give, GXVE from Gwen Stefani. So many good options. Let's see, I think because my Brows have kind of like faded out and I did just have my hair retouched. I think I want to go with the Charlotte Tilbury because it is one of the lighter shades that I have. Like all of these are in medium brown, but across the board, they are all different shades. Some are deeper, some are lighter. Oh, and I even have my Precisely My, which is also one of the lighter shades, but I've been using this and my Charlotte quite a bit. We're gonna go with Charlotte. It's so easy to flick through. We'll get them started before we go off camera. But. Yeah, so I just had my hair touched up. Maddie, the girl that does my hair, I just saw her. She did the deeper, darker roots, and then she also did the red in there. But when I'm gone, I haven't found a place to do my hair. I found a place to do my nails and my brows. They have Benefit Brow Bar in Germany, so easy. But I have not found a hairstylist, and I was like, okay, let's get something that will hold me over, and then um, for the red, I can do a color depositing shampoo which i've talked about on my channel before um she had given me some recommendations and i tried i've tried the moroccan oil out which i like it just doesn't last as long the one that i have been using if i can remember i'll try and link it again down below it is on my shop my dashboard but it is so good and you literally like you jump in the shower get your hair like shampoo it or damp dampen it wring it out and then put the color on let it sit for like five to 10 minutes, depending on how intense you want it. Rinse it out and it, it lasts for up to 10 days. And for me, like in between my hair coloring, the red will fade out. So it's a semi-permanent. That way it fades naturally and not just like the hard line that just stays there. But that was one of the things that we tested before I left so that I would have a color depositing shampoo to kind of carry my color over until I get back. That's what I use for three months, but I'm supposed to be gone for eight months. And I'm like, what if I don't find, I'm sure I'll find a place. I'm sure I'll find a salon, but just in case I want to have a backup. And Google Translate is going to be my friend. I have not had the opportunity to learn any German. When I learned Japanese, I had a hard time learning it before I got there. But once I was there and utilizing it each day, it got easier. Don't ask me what things mean in Japanese I can tell you how to say thank you and I'm sorry because I said those things a lot but otherwise conversational Japanese I did not learn I was like I could order food but I I didn't learn everything by the time I would learn something we'd go back underway and I'd come back I'd have to relearn it so that was the downside is I was immersed and I could like go and venture out and find my way around and like figure out directions but I wasn't home long enough to develop learning the language. If it wasn't for a lack of trying, I would like, I would use as much Japanese as I learned, like how to order food and like to get around. So I'm hoping when I get there, I'll learn some of it. But when I look at, granted, my background is Polish, Dutch, German, and Scottish, and there's a smattering of other things in there. But except for some like Polish words, I don't know a lot. So I'm hoping while I'm over there, like my cousin, he's over there right now, learned a whole bunch, is able to have conversations. But he also picked up languages very well in high school. I took American Sign Language, so. And I don't even remember some of that. 
All right, actually that was probably the easiest brows I've done on camera with you guys, just kind of talking through things. And they look, I'm not gonna say they're twins. They're at least related, like very closely related. All right, now for brow gels. I have a whole thing of them. The MAC, really good. Oh no, y'all, my allergies are on another level right now. Okay, so for brow gel, just have the little container. We have MAC, which I just recently picked up, love that. Patrick Ta, you need your brows laminated, like this will just glue them down. Too Faced Fluff and Hold, I'm not a huge fan of it. I liked it when I first got it, but now I'm just kind of like, meh. Rare Beauty, Kosas Airbrow, if you want something fluffy. Same thing with the Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. There's so many good ones. I don't think I need a tinted, like the Precisely My Brow. This one's tinted, it's so good. I feel like I'm missing some. Oh, here's my Fluff Up Brow Wax. And the LYS Secure Brow. This is a really good brow gel. Let's see, do I want fluffy or laminated? I think I kinda want fluffy, so we're gonna do LYS. This one is so good, okay. It's a little bit like shiny right now, but that's gonna dry down and then it's gonna look fine. All right, for liner, do I want to keep it? I think we're gonna do the nude in the waterline. And then I need, ooh, I have Nabla. So this one's gonna go in the top and then the Sephora 12 hour is gonna go in the bottom waterline. I always do the top first because of the black and deep dark shade. I'd rather the nude cancel it out. This is the Nabla Cupid's Arrow. And then the Sephora 12 hour colorful. This one's the shade Coconut. And for liner. So I have, oh shoot, I have a House Labs. She doesn't have it in our new line. This was just left over in my little like eyeliner drawer over here. Fancy Fly Liner, KB Ink Liner, Stila, Kaja. There's so many good ones. I think I'm gonna use the Fly Liner. So good. I've just been trying to use up what I can before, if it's already open, I wanna like make it disappear before I go and travel. This one's so good, it has a, such a precise line, but I cannot talk while I apply this. There's always an eye that's not perfect and it's this one. Like this one will have a very fine tip. This one is just like, yeah, I'm not working with you today. I feel like this one's a lot bigger because Mascaras, there's so many, I can't even like pull the drawer out. One of my favorites, and I love this one, it is the Huda Beauty One Coat Wow. I do need to curl my lashes. Let me know, like if you were to go on a trip for two months, three months, eight months, and you had to pick a couple items out of your collection, what are those things that are making it in the makeup bag? I'm intrigued. Like what are your diehard like, I can only take a little bit with me. What are you willing to like leave behind and what's making it in the makeup bag? Like I've been telling myself, I have to pick like top 10 eyeshadow palettes. Cause I know I'm gonna purchase some, but I'm also gonna have to ship stuff back. I also don't wanna take a lot of my eyeshadow palettes in case they shatter in transit. Cause let's just be honest. They're not always like, I usually travel with my eyeshadow palettes in my backpack on the plane because I don't want them like manhandled under the plane in my suitcase. They're trying to fill the plane as quickly as possible so we can get off the tarmac, get in the air, get to our destination, and then transferring planes and everything. It's a lot that could go wrong. And I have had stuff completely demolished coming back from Singapore. I know I've told that story before where the conveyor must have eaten my bag and they sent my bag out, what was, what was left of it, <laughs> in a black trash bag and I'm like, Where's my suitcase? Like, that can't be it. And it was. And I had to claim everything. They did pay me, like, I had like a backpacking backpack flying back from Singapore for a family emergency. I was distraught, but they did reimburse me. I wanna say it was like over $5,000 that they reimbursed me for my stuff. I was just like, oh. They even gave me a free suitcase so I could put my trash bag in the suitcase. <laughs> Oh man, travel stories. There's just so many. All right, setting spray. Let's see, I love my Charlotte, this one. I've just like, I just opened this one. This is the like XXL size. Let's see, the L'Oreal. I've used this a couple times since I used it in my like new makeup video. It's crunchy, it's drying. If you want your makeup to stay and you are, are an oily, like an oily person, this will do it. 
it just feels like hairspray and it feels thick on your skin. I will use it because I can like I need it in the summer. I won't repurchase. The NYX Marshmallow, delicious and looks so good. Scandinavia and this one I've been using a lot. This is the Bridal, which is meant for like 16 hour wear. Ooh, I've got LYS, Morphe Continuous. Shoot, what do I want to use? Ooh, one size is a good one. Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof. I'm pretty matte right now. I think I'm gonna, I don't think I've used this on camera in a while, the NYX Marshmallow. I love this. Matte Finish Makeup Setting Spray. That turned out way better than the Urban Decay All Nighter. This one, we're not even gonna talk about it. If you find the video where I used this, I let AI pick a date night look for me. Go watch that video at time frame 37.55 and I know it because one of you lovely video watchers uh, let me know the time at which they could not, that they were just laughing uncontrollably. And I was too, cause I went back to look and I was like, of course, of course is that one. Um, <laughs> but it was very funny and I'm like, I know I shook this. Like, I know I shook it long enough. I don't know that I did because just go watch it. I'm dropping everything. Yeah, if you can find the AI Picks My Date Night Glam Makeup, timestamp 3755. <sighs> it was the biggest makeup flop I have ever had. All right, I do need, we're gonna do a lip liner. There's so many. I just picked up this one from Ilia, which is so good. It's very hydrating. I love my makeup forever wherever walnuts. I just used the Dominique Cosmetics. This one is Crush, so good. One liner from, what is this, Tower 28 in shade Fill Me In, so good. Whirl, yep, Whirl from MAC. Really like this one. I'm wondering like, with purples and greens, I probably want Whirl or Makeup Forever. Even Huda, the pinky brown. Like I think I want a pinky brown neutral shade. Yeah, so we're gonna do MAC Whirl. And my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Big Lump Plump Gasm. I love this lip gloss plumper. It's so good. I will say this one's a little bit more stiff than the Makeup Forever. So I have to go over it multiple times. And with the Illy one, I loved like how hydrating it was. But when I pressed my lips together, it transferred up so I could see where I needed to like do the liner. It's always this side that seems to be flat. That's why I talked about this a couple videos ago and you guys are like, people are horrible. That is why it makes me laugh when someone on my TikTok video, I was, I was talking about lip gloss or something. Um, but they're like, your your lips are so, or you have so much lip filler, you can't talk. I'm like, if if I had lip filler, you would think I would have had them fix like the shape of my lips. The things that I complain about the most on my lips, like you would think if I had lip filler, I would have had them fix that. Sorry, I just, I was thinking about that. I'm like, if, like if I had such big issues or like whatever, yeah, you know, there's sometimes that I'm like, oh, I would wish I could get rid of the lines in my lips or whatever, whatever. But I think it's funny when someone picks that apart and I'm like, but wouldn't I fix the imperfections around my lips if I had that done? Like, right? I don't know, it makes me laugh. People online are stupid and mean sometimes. All right, so this is the original Pillow Talk shade. There is medium, but I just wanna keep it nice and shiny and light. Nice and shiny. My lips now look full. All right, let me go fix my hair. I know I kind of pulled it down, but it, it's not perfect yet. Let me go do that and I'll come back with the final look. Okay, you guys, hair is done. I just used my um, BB Thickening from Bumble and Bumble. I just spray it into the roots and then just kind of like tossle the hair to get some of that like depth and volume back. But this is the final look. I like how my eyes turned out. I did not know I was gonna end up using all the shades that were in the palette. I like how the ombre effect is going on right here, especially with that purple in the outer portion. Uh, just the makeup itself, I really enjoy. I don't know if it's the foundation or the putty primer. I'm gonna try it again and see, but like I said, I'm doing my shop, my stash, and like reaching for different products every single day to figure out and narrow down like what's gonna go with me, what's gonna stay here, what am I okay with being expired and needing to be thrown away when I come home? Cause Part of me is like, oh, it's all an investment. Don't let anything go to waste. But then also realistically, 
I can't pack up an entire beauty room and take it across the world with me on an airplane. So I appreciate you guys being here for this video. Let me know your thoughts. Like I said, by the time you see this, I will already be over in Germany. I don't know if I'll be situated. I don't know my living situation or what's going to be going on. But once I do have an idea and I have the opportunity to get on my channel and talk to you guys and kind of update you on just everything, I absolutely will. Definitely leave your comments in the drop down box. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Give me your opinions, your thoughts, recommendations. If you've been to Germany and you know of places that I can go to in a day trip or whatnot that you think I should go and explore and take you guys along with me, let me know those suggestions. But you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications, new videos. If you like this video, make sure you get a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.